Hello, I'm Kelly and welcome to my Floss Tube channel, Animal Instinct. It's Sunday, July the 3rd, 2022, and today I'm going to be filming a mid-year whip parade. So what I'm going to be doing today is showing you all of the pieces that I've worked on this year. Um, it's not going to be all of my works in progress. Uh, at the start of the year, I put aside quite a lot of them and I chose to focus on a smallish amount, although there's still too many in the list. <laughs> um, so I'm actually going to start with the ones that I've finished this year and then we'll get on to the ones that are still still going and then I have some new starts at the end as well. So, so far this year I've got my stats in front of me I've stitched about 108,000 stitches so I'd like to try and get to the 200,000 mark by the end of the year. I've had three finishes this year and let's just have a look at those to start with. So first up is the Cryptid Stitch Along by the Witchy Stitcher. Here is the finish. It's stitched on 32 count linen in Duck Egg by Number 12 Stitch Co. Um, I started it last year when the, when the Stitch Along started and I finished it in January this year. I did about 7,500 stitches this year. It was a really fun stitch and I really enjoyed it. My next finish was The Witcher, which I got this pattern from Needleminder Lair on Etsy. Um, sorry. Here it is. It's a popular one. So I... Let's have a look. It's stitched on 25 count cream Wigana, one over one full cross. Um, I only worked on it once in 2021 on, on this fabric anyway. I started it a couple of times on different fabrics, um, but the rest of the stitching was done this year. It took me 34 days of stitching, it's 29,000 stitches, and I finished it in April. Love this one. <laughs> And my third finish for the year really needs an iron. <laughs> oh, yes, I haven't ironed anything. I don't really iron, so unless it's absolutely necessary. So that's just going to get wrinkled pieces today. This is Bushland Quaker by Mojo Stitches. It's on 40 count linen in weak tea from Jay's X Stitch. And it's stitched with the cold four uh, cottage garden threads and uh, DMC. I started it, I think it was a birthday start last year in 2021 and I finished it uh, in May. Um, I worked on it for 10 days this year and I did about five and a half thousand stitches this year. It came together really, really nicely. It's really pretty. So they're all my finishes for the year. Let's get on to works in progress an eye behind me. <laughs> right. So these pieces I put aside at the start of the year to try and really get some significant progress on. Some of them I have, some of them I haven't at all. Um, I have put in at least a thousand stitches into each piece though and I'll put in before and after or before pictures of where they were at the start of the year. <laughs> As we go to. Um, so first up is uh, Brooks Books Wonderland. She has a collection of um, characters from Alice in Wonderland uh, and I'm putting them onto one piece of fabric and it's 28 count Silver Springs Lugana. Um, it's opalescent from Colour Cascade Fabrics and I put in right at the start of this year, I stitched on it for one day this year. I got 1,300 stitches in and I finished the Mad Hatter. Um, so I will try and do a little bit more this year, I guess. We'll just see how we go. This one's housed in a bag I made myself. Great um, Tula Pink Alice fabric. Next 
Next is The Pilgrim by Long Dog Samplers. It's on 36 count platinum linen and I'm stitching it with silks for you uh, PR011 and the text is in another silks for you. So this is where I am now. Oh, <laughs> I can't really see. Um, but this year I worked on this corner in here and I spent six days on it so far this year, 4,400 stitches. I'm 34% complete on the whole piece, which uh, I've done 19 and a half thousand stitches altogether. Next is Teresa Wentzler's Trade Winds. I've only stitched on this for three days. It's got a thousand and twenty-five stitches. It's on 32 count antique white linen. And that's where I am. Now, someone had just finished this piece and shared it um, in the Teresa Wentzler Facebook group and he actually did a conversion. You can see the alphabet there. He did a conversion to a really great quote that just fits the piece perfectly and he's kindly shared um, how he's charted that quote. Um, very much thinking I might do the same because um, I'm not a huge fan of lots of alphabets. We'll see. <laughs> Obviously, that's a little way off. Next is the Old Scott from Hands Across the Sea. This one. I said I'm not a huge fan of alphabets. This one's only got partial alphabet in it, so it's okay. <laughs> it's being stitched on... 40 count cream linen um, with the called for Soir Dache silks. Um, I've worked on it for three days also and 2047 stitches. And it's completely, I think it's probably see through, but <laughs> that'll do. That's where I am now. I'm coming a little closer to have a look at the alphabet. It's the curly Scottish style um, lettering. Next is my Chatelaine, my poor neglected Chatelaine. I really love this one, I just never work on it. It's the Taj Mahal Mandala. I've worked on it for three days and done just shy of a thousand stitches. It's on 32 count black linen. see through the linen hopefully you can see that in focus if not I'll pop a photo in uh, definitely need to come back to this one soon next is firefly it's a gecko rouge kit artwork by Jenny Parks um, it's my largest my largest project by far I've worked on this uh, for 47 days this year and I've put in 22,000 stitches this year. I'm at a total of 116,000 stitches out of 745,000. So 15.6%. Now, let's see if we can show this. So just for the most recent stitching, this is where we're at. And then <laughs> I did my regular FOSS tube yesterday and it was tricky to show this one, but <laughs> maybe.
maybe that will be my um, thumbnail for this video. <laughs> There's the two cats together. And if I can show the whole thing. There we go. Oh. <laughs> there you go. So it's on 25 count Lugana. The cats are stitched one over one full cross and the background is mostly two over one tenth stitch. I've just decided to do that um, to speed things up a little. That's really annoying me. <laughs> anyway, um, ah, love this piece so much. I think that's all I wanted to say about that. Yeah, started this one in March 2019. I haven't been saying that about any of the others. You don't care. But this one's been on the go for three years now, with many years to come. <laughs> Next is Joan Elliott's Time Traveller. It's being stitched on, oh, I always forget the fabric. It's 32 count linen, gothic by picture this plus. Pretty sure. <laughs> Let's forget, I don't know why. This one really needs to be finished. It's ridiculous that I haven't finished it. So I stitched on it pretty consistently earlier this year. And I'm very close. I just really I just need to do beading and back stitch. So no excuse. Um, I have worked on it for 20 days this year. I've done Eight and a half thousand stitches and yeah, just back stitch and beads to go. So this is earmarked for a 2022 finish. Next is Mermaid's Folly by Courtney Collection. Um, this is being stitched on Body count linen in murky from Picture This Plus. Um, not gotten as far as I wanted to on this one. That's where we're at. I worked on it for five days um, and a thousand and fifty one stitches apparently. Um, just using DMC3371. And I think I'm going to keep this out and work on it this month. So that one is going to be popped aside. Next is Indian Model based on Ashwari Rai from Lanart, Lanarte, Lanart. I have not done much on this one either. I'm stitching it on 32 count even weave from Jay's X Stitch. It was just a retreat special, so not something you can just buy. Um, and that is all I've done, sadly. Uh, two days, 1,031 stitches this year. Next is Huga Stories from New Leaf Craft. I believe they must be Russian designers because you can't purchase the, um, the store's not on Etsy anymore. It's a 12, uh, like a monthly series. Um, there's 12 patterns and I have done six all together. I'm stitching it on 28 count um, Brittany Lugana in Aether by Chromatic Alchemy. I've worked on this piece for about 13 days this year, about 7,000 stitches. Uh, and I finished, I think, either four or five blocks. I can't remember. <laughs> Let's come in and have a look at them all. May as well. There's one. Three, four, now I can't see, hang on, <laughs> try not to make you sick, that's the last one I did, so I would like to finish this this year hopefully, 
um, but we'll see. Next is Sea Glass by Carolyn Manning. This is just a small full coverage piece. Um, I've worked on it for two days this year, doing it on 25 count antique white even weave uh, in yeah one over one full cross. Done a thousand stitches. Just love those colours so much. And I'm at 14% on this one. It's just a little small one. Next is Tempest by Leilani Joy. It's a Gecko Rouge kit. I'm a little bit torn about this one. Um, I'm doing it on 25 count Ligana, one over one full cross. This is where I'm up to. Um, I stitched on it for two days this year. And about a thousand stitches I'm five percent of the way through and there's quite a lot of this background but her face is also quite uh, light her, her skin tone's very fair I have got this fabric which is 25 count Lugana it's basically the same color as the DMC in the background I'm thinking of trying this. The only thing I'm worried about is the skin is very light and she might end up looking a bit bluish. <laughs> so I'll do a bit of a, uh, a test stitch um, just to see what the skin tone comes out, how it comes out on this fabric. Um, and if it's okay, I might switch over to this and then I won't need to stitch all the background. So we'll see. If it doesn't work out, I'll carry on. Okay, next one is John Clayton Collection um, Cricket Scene. It's a restitch from one that my mum started many years ago. <laughs> I'm doing it on 32 count antique white linen. Off you go. Um, I've worked on it for two days this year, got a thousand stitches in. I would actually like to finish this this year. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll see. And then the last um, whip that I already had started is my Animal Stacks by Plum Street Samplers. So I'm currently working on Sheep Peep. I'm doing four of them together, four livestock species. Um, done the cows and the pigs, the sheep and the goats to go. It's on 36 count natural linen using the cold four threads, um, except I am using some fun uh, chunky threads for the sheep to make them a bit shaggy looking. Um, I've spent two days on this, done about a thousand stitches. I would, again, I'd really like to finish this one this year. It's been going, I don't have my notes about when I started it, but it's been a while. Uh, 2019, actually, I can see. <laughs> I stitched a 19 there. Um, so yeah, need to finish this one. Okay, brief interlude before we go into the projects I've started this year. Um, this is my bought jar for the year, Sinkhole Gin from South Australia. And that, let me focus, there are my pretty pots for the year. <laughs> I just have this sitting next to my stitching spot and chuck them in as I go. So 
So I had a look. I don't know where I was at the middle of last year, but by the end of last year, I started 28 new projects, which is just ridiculous. Um, so far this year, I have started four. So I'm being very restrained this year. Um, three of them are stitch alongs. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks, Jemima. Um, so the first one is from Pain Free Crafts. Um, it's their 2022 stitch along and um, it's artwork by Chris Dunn and it's absolutely beautiful. I love it, but I just haven't been working on it this year. I know Lauren Possibilities is, I think she's planning on um, incorporating it into her next year. It's all happening. Um, next year's rotation I think is that right Lauren so maybe I'll join you there because I'm, I'm so far behind but I just love it it's wind in the willows themed it's beautiful so it's on 32 count stormy sky even weave um, I've worked on this for 12 days and I've put in about 3,200 stitches and I, think it, I think it goes this way this is how little I've done Anyway, that is where I'm at, but oh, the each installments, it's amazing. That must be a new dog. We do not normally have dogs barking around here. My second new start for the year was a birthday start. Um, I love this kit so much and I definitely want to keep uh, going with this one very soon. It's another Gecko Rouge kit, surprise, surprise, by Medusa Dollmaker. And it's her Warrior Woman. Warrior, yeah, Warrior Woman. And I believe that is what my name actually is. Uh, means warrior woman or warrior princess or something so you know it's me <laughs> I'm stitching it one over one full crosses on 25 count Lagana and I have only worked on it for two days I got 1100 stitches in that's all I've done need to get moving a bit more progress on there um, it's at 0.91% <laughs> complete My next new start for the year was Under the Sea by Lakeside Needlecraft. Or oh, it's by Durian Jones, sorry, and it's available through Lakeside Needlecraft. It was a stitch along, a mystery stitch along back in 2017. I had it kitted up uh, since 2018, never started it. And then I spotted that Emma X Stitching and Joe Belushi Stitches were doing it this year, so I jumped on board too. Um, it's being stitched on 32 count Opal Murano in Caribbean Seas by JD Redesigns. And that is where I'm at. So that's the whole width of the piece. And I think there's kind of three, yeah, there's three rows. So, um, supposedly doing one motif a month. This is June's only part done, so I'm a little behind. But um, it's very cute. Uh, I love all things aquatic. And then my very last new start for the year, so far there will be more, <laughs> um, is the Supernatural Stitch Along from The Witchy Stitcher. Uh, it's a sister piece to the cryptid piece that I finished. Um, We did just have a little incident before while I was filming. Reggie had been a good boy sitting behind there. Then he jumped up onto the table and pulled everything off. And there's a nice claw mark in my fabric, Reggie. But it'll be okay. Anyway, <laughs> this is where I'm at. It's on 32 count Belfast linen in cocoa dust from number 12 Stitch Co. And 
and first creature came out yesterday. I haven't finished the frame, but I have finished her. I've worked on this whole piece so far for eight days and I've done 4,666 stitches. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see, yeah, that's a nice little hole in the fabric. Thank you very much, Kat. Um, but I think he's more just squished a couple of the strands. That'll be fine. And thankfully it's well outside the, um, the stitching. So I'm always on my guard here because he just cannot be trusted. <laughs> okay. So that is much shorter than my last whip parade because I have... I don't know how many pieces that was, maybe around 20. I've probably got more like 60 or more um, in total. So the end of the year, I will pull that, those out too. It'll be a much longer whip parade, but I didn't really see the point today. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with, with what I've got done so far this year. There's some projects that, yeah, I wanna um, put a bit more time and effort into. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed that. And um, we'll see you again soon um, in another month or so at the end of July for my regular stitching update. See ya.